Hey Keyblade Army, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you my Kingdom Hearts collection. A little disclaimer, I am not going to be able to show you everything just because I have moved around a lot and my parents actually have some of my Kingdom Hearts merchandise and some of it unfortunately has gone missing from moving so much but I still have a lot to show you and I'm really excited to do so. I have so much. I actually did a Kingdom Hearts collection video a while ago, probably like three years ago. It's really cringy. Don't watch it. Let's just, let's just start anew with this one. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoy. And I'm going to just go ahead and get started because there is a lot and I don't want this video to be like an hour long. So yeah. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to show you is my clothing. Um, I, I tried to include everything, but there might be still some things in the dirty laundry or something, but I tried my best to gather all of my clothing that i have that's kingdom hearts related i used to have more i remember i had this shirt i'll insert a picture right here where uh it said like beware the heartless on it um that shirt got holes in it because it was just so old and i don't have it anymore the picture that i showed you i was like literally 15 so that was like nine years ago and yeah that unfortunately doesn't exist anymore but here we go um some of this stuff's new some of it's old i don't remember where all of it is from but i'm gonna just show you so this is the first shirt i'll show you this is a tank top you know pretty cute kingdom hearts 2 standard um just so you know most of the kingdom hearts merch i have is from hot topic hot topic has like the most extensive merch for kingdom hearts i've ever seen really and it's always so good this is also from hot topic and these are pretty new these are the pants look how cute <laughs> i love these so much these are amazing like for real so these are like joggers but yeah i have those these were given to me by a viewer thank you so much look how cute these are these are a little baggy on me i actually think they're men's but i mean i i really like them regardless um i love sweatpants so yeah that's those they have a little heartless there so cute i think these were these are off my amazon wish list so that's where i got those then as you saw in my previous video i went to the kingdom hearts orchestra concert and this is the shirt that i got it's a little wrinkly but there's that okay and then i have this shirt which is like the stained glass design this is from hot topic as well um but yeah i love this because it's nice and shiny and uh, i love like shiny things so <laughs> there's that then i have the sea salt popsicle shirt unfortunately it, i got like tomato sauce on it and i'm gonna need to try to like use oxyclean to get it out because you can definitely tell i don't know well i guess you can't really see it on camera you kind of can it's like right right there but yeah there's this shirt this is super cute i got this on a, i don't know where i got this <sighs> yeah it doesn't say on the tag but i got it from like a a smaller t-shirt website i believe and uh yeah i'll try to link things down below if i can figure out where they're from so then i have this shirt i have this in black and also in purple because um i got them both from a viewer and they're two different viewers and on twitch and as you can see there's that it says the heart may be weak and sometimes it may even give in but i've learned that deep down there's a light that never goes out which is my favorite quote ever from kingdom hearts as you guys know but i have that in purple as well as you can see right here i have that in purple so there's that and then i have this is like my favorite i don't know why i mean like i'm not evil or anything but uh this is my heartless shirt and i just i like how it's uh it's not just like a plain shirt you can see it has like faded uh gray color there which i really like like i just i really like the faded effect that it has i think it's really pretty and you know the heartless symbol it's pretty edgy so i really like that <laughs> okay then i have this sora shirt which you guys always ask me where i got it and i got it from hot topic i don't know if it's still available but this is the kingdom hearts 2 sora shirt i must say the shirt runs really small um i normally wear a small and I, I got it in a small and i still wear it but it's very tight compared to like other smalls so uh if you do find the shirt i would recommend you get a size up because seriously it's it's very tight okay and then we have this shirt which i've had for a while i've had this shirt for at least five years and i'm sure you can tell it's a bit faded but got just you know cute little mickey mouse stained glass design 
Kingdom Hearts 2 characters. We got Sora, Kyrie, and Roxas. And yeah, I really, really, really like that. Always leaving out Nomine though, like what the frick? Okay, so then I have this, which is my Kyrie Kingdom Hearts 3 Kyrie inspired hoodie that I got. Now, this was actually before her character was revealed in the trailer, so there's no plaid or anything on it, but it still has like the little the little ears because there was like a teaser that had Kingdom Hearts 3 Kyrie on it in like an illustrated picture that they based it off of. And yeah, it's super cute. I mean, obviously it's not like perfect because it's not accurate but it's it's close enough it's you know Kyrie inspired I guess you could say and then as you can see I'm also wearing this shirt which I got from GameStop I believe and I think a lot of people have this shirt now but yeah this shirt's really cute I love it it's very uh very Kingdom Hearts <laughs> okay so now I'm gonna move on to figurines and I have a lot of the pop figures but they're actually hung up over there so I'm gonna go grab them and get as much as I can I'll be right back okay so I really hope that I was able to get everything um, I'm gonna start with these figurines I'm not exactly sure what the brand is I'm really sorry I'm not a big collector like in terms of uh, like I, I will collect anything Kingdom Hearts but I generally don't really know the names of like the brands or anything like that just because I if I see Kingdom Hearts, I buy it. I don't really care too much about what it is or where I got it from. Um, you know what I mean? So I have this figure. These are like those kind of silly ones. Like their faces are really, uh, uh, I don't know. Sora looks kind of weird, but there's this. <laughs> I mean, I still like it. It was from GameStop. I think it was like, it was like maybe five to $10. It's pretty, it's pretty cheap. And then I have King Mickey, which the Mickey one's pretty cute. This is the same brand. Again, I, I don't know what it is. I'll try to leave it. There he is. He's got his little star seeker. And then I've got Axel and Axel. <laughs> he, he has his little weapons and I cannot get him to hold them to save his life. Axel. And then with those figures, I got these like little heartless. We've got the soldier, obviously. Look at him. And then the cute little shadow. The shadow is really cute. I really like it. It's super cute. Okay. So, oh, and I also got uh, a dusk, a dusk nobody. There's that. Okay, so now I'm gonna show you my pop figures and I am not a pop figure collector. Like I said, I see Kingdom Hearts, I buy. Um, so please do not judge me for the way that I have displayed them. I actually decided to super glue these to this wood because they would not stay. Um, I have them hung on shelves in my background and they just would not stay. So I just super glued them to the wood. Like I said, I'm not a pop figure collector. I know this is probably like disrespect. But yeah, so we've got um, Sora, Riku, and Kairi, and they're a little dusty, oh my goodness. But yeah, that's what they look like. They're so cute. So then we have Mickey, Donald, and Goofy, and that's what they look like. And then I have ones that I don't display just because I don't have room for them. There's like dust flying everywhere. I'm sorry, I should dust that for sure. Okay, so then I've got Pete. And I, you know, 10 out of 10, love Pete. Who doesn't like Pete? You know what I'm saying? He's thick, totally thick. Okay, so there's Pete. Then I've got uh, Organization 13 King Mickey. He is so cute. I've actually not taken him out of the box. Check it out. And then I have, oh, I forgot to show you guys this. This is the Static Arts Sora. And I got this from a viewer, my friend Danny. How cute is that? <laughs> this is like probably my most high quality figure that I have and I absolutely love this. I really wanna get the Kingdom Hearts 3 Riku and Sora so, so, so badly. Um, and Kyrie whenever it comes out. That's what's like, that's what I'm really focused on next. I did pre-order the Kingdom Hearts 3 bundle. So I should be getting those um, Toy Story figurines of Sora, Donald, and Goofy, which I'm really excited about. Okay, so those are all of my figures. Now I'm going to move on to my books, I guess. I have some manga, so let me go get that. Okay, so I have some manga. I don't, I only have the Kingdom Hearts 1 manga. I could have sworn I had some of two, 
Maybe I just uh, didn't bring it whenever I moved, but I have, let's see. I have one, two, three, and four of the Kingdom Hearts 1 manga, and this is what they look like. I got these at like a, one of those cheap bookstores, like the like budget bookstores, if that makes sense. Like everything's pretty cheap. Um, but yeah, there's that. Okay. And then this is actually my fiance Jonathan's, but I own this somewhere. I think my dad probably has it, but this is the Kingdom Hearts official strategy guide. And this helped me a lot when I was a kid, when I was trying to beat Sephiroth and whenever I was trying to like synthesize the ultimate Keyblade. This is like nothing but nostalgia in here and I love it so much. Like, oh my God, this is such a must have if you're a Kingdom Hearts fan. I wish I had a Kingdom Hearts 2 strategy guide though. I actually never got one of those, but I think it's because I was very much more into the internet and I was able to just Google things, so. <laughs> and now I'm gonna show you guys my game collection. Okay, so I'm gonna show you guys my game collection. I'm gonna start with Kingdom Hearts 1, 2, and Chain of Memories. These are for PlayStation 2. And these are the greatest hit ones because these are the ones that you can get on the website right now. And my originals, like I said, are most likely with my parents. So unfortunately, I cannot show you guys those, but I, I do own them. Um, but these are the greatest hits, which is better than nothing. And my fiance, Jonathan, got these for me. And it just made me super happy because I missed having them. And then this is really, really, really cool. You guys are gonna love this. So my friend Shelby, Sea Salt Shelby, she got me the Kingdom Hearts 1 and 2 from Japan. She lives in Japan. And this is what they look like. How cool is that? That is seriously so cool. Like, this just made my day. I can't play them or anything because you need to have like a Japanese PS2, but as like something to have, like to collect, oh my God, so amazing. Thank you so much, Shelby. <laughs> so now I'm gonna show you guys my two Kingdom Hearts backpacks and also my blanket. Okay, so this is the backpack that I showed you guys in one of my vlogs. And this is like the Kingdom Hearts 3 Sora backpack from GameStop. And then this I got from Hot Topic and it's full because I use this for traveling to the Kingdom Hearts Orchestra concert. But this is my Kingdom Hearts backpack that I got from Hot Topic. It's amazing. Look at it. It's so pretty. I love it. <laughs> All right, sorry, I had to make room because my desk was getting really, really cluttered. But now I'm gonna show you guys this tote bag that I got. I've shown you this in my Kingdom Hearts 3 premiere video, but this is the bag that I got from that event. And that's what it looks like. And this came with this water bottle. And then it also came with this little notebook. I love it, it's so pretty. And um, it also came with like Toy Story iron on things. Let me see if I can get those. These are actually adhesive um, patches, but this is what they look like. They're really cute. <laughs> so that's what came in there. And then I'm going to show you my Keyblade keychains and I have a bunch and they're, sorry if this is loud, but they're all like right on my purse right here. And then I also have, a, as you can see, an Anti-Sora and a Riku figure down here. But on this side, as you can see, I've got Ultima, I have Oathkeeper, Oblivion, Kingdom Key, and Starseeker, which are like literally all my favorite Keyblades. Um, so I have those. And then I also have the Era Keyblade. Where is that? And then I also have the Era Keyblade, which I have not put on my purse yet, but that's what this looks like. And I actually got this out of the uh, Kingdom Hearts 3 Premiere bag as well. I literally have so much stuff. This is so overwhelming. <laughs> Okay, and then I have this wallet. This is my Kingdom Hearts 2 Sora wallet. My best friend Tara got this for me. This is like the best wallet ever. <laughs> so thankful to have this. And then I have this Sora. Sora, wow. Well, kind of, right? At one point, this is Sora. This, <laughs> then I have this little heartless shadow plushie. It gets like hair on it really easily. It, it's like a magnet for hair but this is what it looks like. I've had this for years, like literally years. Okay, so this is obviously handmade and this was given to me by a viewer, my friend Noble. This is what it looks like. 
it's really pretty. You got the door, and then we've got Sora, Riku, and Kairi in little pixel art form, and I just love this so much. It's so pretty. <laughs> And then I have this, which was also given to me by a viewer and like it's kind of like a pop-out type thing So it's got like dimension where when you have it like this It looks, you know, like he's actually in front of it, which looks really really cool. I love this And then we have my keyblades back there, which I will take you to in just a moment So here are my keyblades up close. We have Oblivion Kingdom And Oathkeeper the Kingdom Key I got at an anime convention, and then the Oathkeeper and Oblivion I got from my Twitch community, and it was just really sweet. They did it with like a really emotional video, and that is where I got those. <laughs> oh my god, I'm done. <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Show you guys this metal poster that I have was given to me by a viewer, my friend Spec, and this is what it looks like. I really want to hang this up on the door back there. I just need to get more magnets for it, which I believe I'll be getting soon. Okay, so now I'm going to show you guys my wayfinders. I have three, technically. Technically. This is one that I got from Etsy, and this is what it looks like. It's pink, and it's got, like, you know, dust and stuff on it. I just cleaned it off. I guess my camera just really picks up on stuff like that. But yeah, it's obviously very much like the Birth by Sleep Wayfinders, which I love, but I got it in pink because it's my favorite color. And then I had a viewer named The Mushroom 13 who gave me these wayfinders that I'm really excited to show you because these are beautiful. So I've got like a full size one and then a mini one. And they're just like um, the Kingdom Hearts wayfinder charm that, you know, given to by Kyrie, of course. Kyrie's Lucky Charm. So there's the big version, and it even has like the yarn there on the bigger version. And then we've got a smaller version, which looks like this. And even the backs of these is like the original, which I love so much. Like, look at that. These are so nice. All right, so I wasn't able to include everything, but I think I was able to show you at least most of it, at least. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. Just a little disclaimer, this is not me bragging. This is a collection that I have accumulated over the years, and it's just something that's really important to me. So I do tend to save my money and spend it on Kingdom Hearts related things just because it makes me happy. Um, it's not a competition if you guys have a collection yourselves i would absolutely love to hear about it but again it's not a competition so please do not like fight in the comment section about like who has a better collection it's really just we're a bunch of fans and we love kingdom hearts and we're sharing that with each other and that is all it is but yeah thank you guys so much for watching i hope you enjoyed and i'll see you in my next video feel free to follow me on social media i'm keyblade sarah on everything except for snapchat where i'm keyblade master feel free to subscribe if you would like to see more videos like this where i post about my love for kingdom hearts and other things and just be my awkward self. I completely forgot to show you guys this. I did show it in my last video, but in case you did not see that, this is from the orchestra concert and this is the conductor's keyblade. So yeah. Thanks again for watching. And as always, may your heart be your guiding key. Sub